Hey everyone, Dave Allison with Allison Wealth. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking all about Roth conversions. Again, getting that money from a state that we call forever taxed in a pre-tax tax deferred retirement account to a state that we would call never taxed in a Roth account. And how to think about how much money you should be converting each and every year and what a target or optimal amount for Roth money would be in your retirement plan. So the first thing that I always like to start off by sharing is our measuring cups. You've probably seen me share this in other videos that we've done on YouTube. And again, by the way, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you like the content that we're putting out. But everybody gets a standard deduction. So this is the amount that we can deduct of our income. We don't have to pay tax on it. For a married couple, you can look on the right-hand side, 27700 For a single filer, it's about 13850 This is the starting point. This is one of the greatest tax planning tools that exist in the code. If you have mortgage interest, maybe you're taking itemized deductions, but about 90% of U.S. taxpayers are now taking the standard deduction. From there, we take the standard deduction minus your income, and that starts to lead us down the path of what your taxable income is. That taxable income flows into this measuring cup. So at the first 22,000 for a married person, you're paying 10%. Up to 89,450, you're at 12 percent. Up to 190,000, you're at 22 percent. 364 is where you start bumping from 24 percent and filling your way up to 32 percent. If you're fortunate enough to make over 462,000, you're at 35 percent. And then last but not least, the top taxpayers in 2023 are at $693,000 of income. Any dollar over $693,750 of taxable income is going to face a 37% marginal tax. And so one of the strategies we talk about all the time is filling up your bracket. So for example, if you had $65,000 of taxable income, well, you could have up to 89,000 before you get bumped into that 22% bracket. And so we would recommend doing a Roth conversion on the difference from 65,000, essentially creating income up to 89,450. It's what we call a bracket bumping Roth conversion. Again, the idea behind that is if tax rates go up in the future, which they're scheduled to do in 2026, when the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act sunset, that 12% is going to go to 15%. I don't know about you, but I'd rather pay tax at 12% than 15% or maybe even some number higher than that. If you're a higher income earner, and let's say you're in the 24% bracket and you make $300,000 a year of taxable income, that still gives you about $64,000 of capacity to be able to do a Roth conversion before you get bumped up into that next bracket of 24%. And so you need to measure your bracket each and every year. You need to understand how to fill up these brackets and maximize the capacity that you have in them. And the ultimate goal is by the time you retire, you want to have a nice diversified mix of pre-tax money as well as tax-advantaged money like Roth IRA money. The reason you want to have some pre-tax money is throughout retirement, you're going to have a certain level of income that you're going to be able to offset with the standard deduction. You're going to have a certain amount of income that will always be taxed at lower brackets. But in retirement, you also want to have a nice bucket of tax-efficient money, Roth money, Things that if you take out a certain level above those lower brackets, you're not going to pay high marginal rates in retirement. And so, again, these are just some of the ideas that we like to think about when it comes to Roth conversion planning. This is the stuff that we do at Allison Wealth Management day in and day out to help our clients mitigate their lifetime taxes. And so if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out to our team and please subscribe to our page. Stay in the loop on all these different ideas and strategies to continue to build your wealth.